Tin Wei is a satisfied woman. To be a seamstress and from home, that was her dream, which three years ago became reality after completing a project training. In her small wooden house in the township Hatan Tabin, around 20 kilometers from Myanmar's former capital, she now sews for the whole village and makes a contribution of just about half of her household's income. Like most of the people here, Tin Wei's family makes a living from traditional rice cultivation, and as such, she depends on the harvest's success and lives at the mercy of erratic weather conditions and local creditors. After an illness in the family struck, this farming family quickly falls into debt. At 10% interest per month, they even had to sell some of their land, only to be forced soon afterward to borrow even more money for seeds and fertilizer. Tin Wei was able to buy the used sewing machine once she completed the training conducted by Welthungerhilfe with funding from the Hapo Foundation. With a second income from sewing, Tin Hui has been able to settle most of her debts. There is more than enough work for her in Hatan Tabin and satisfied customers who no longer have to go into the city every time. Small businesses improve the quality of life in the entire village. During harvest time, the seamstress is always there, still helping out in the fields. The Hapel Foundation provides aid to the rural population, here too by making production equipment and rice banks available, expanding irrigation systems and optimizing cultivation methods, but always in the form of helping people help themselves. The project provides know-how and construction material. The village inhabitants provide the labor. They are the ones who build bridges, roads or schools. The Hopple Foundation provides the building material and the training. Now take Saf Moe, a farmer's son who's always been interested in technology and who is in search for something more demanding besides his simple field work. In an electronics course financed by the Hopple Foundation, he not only learned how to repair rice cookers but also radios and television sets. A real opportunity for Saf Moe to improve his economic situation and to gain a measure of independence from agriculture. The neighbors are already calling him Sayalia, Little Sir, a way of showing their respect for his skills. Tin Wei still has to make do without electricity. She has to press her fabrics with an antiquated charcoal smoothing iron. The seamstress's customers appreciate her patience, accuracy and reliability.